There are around 20 species of hornets, found mostly in the tropics. The sting of each is very painful, but the title of the most painful is held by the Japanese hornet, the largest in the world. Accounts say that the pain of its sting can be vividly described as a thrust of a red hot nail. Other hornets still cause excruciating pain. No wonder that when their nest appears near our house, we want to get rid of it as soon as possible, not worrying about the subtlety of the methods used. Professional companies, sometimes the fire brigade, usually take care of this, but some decide to undertake the challenge themselves. In exceptional situations, a hornet's nest can summon a large group of specialists looking like NASA employees to the site and cause somewhat of a sensation. Why are hornets so dangerous? What is their survival strategy? These questions will be answered in today's episode. Welcome! One of the oldest, perhaps a bit primitive, but very effective method of getting rid of a hornet's nest is to burn it. This is most often done after dark or early in the morning when the hornets are dormant and unable to react. Here we see an example from China. A huge Asian's hornet nest is burned with ordinary torches. If this is done quickly and effectively, there is no need to wear protective clothing and the hornets die instantly. Because the nest is made of cellulose and resembles paper or cardboard, so it's highly flammable. In this way, for centuries, people removed nuisance hornets' nest near their homes. Today, some people still use this method, although in a slightly more advanced form, like using a flammable agent that is sprayed on the nest before setting it on fire so that it burns even faster. Another option is to use a very powerful burner. The hornet's nest in this case also burns instantly. Despite everything, we must always remember that each approach to a hornet's nest carries a certain risk. It is true that, contrary to appearances, hornets are actually less aggressive than bees or wasps, but if their nest is hit or damaged, they will certainly become aggressive and attack anything that happens to be in its vicinity. The problem is that sometimes we can accidentally or unconsciously damage the socket. Therefore, nests located in the ground, like in animal burrows, are the greatest threat to humans. Here we see the liquidation of such a nest. People can accidentally step into such a nest and surely get stung many times. Can such an event turn out lethal to a human? Hornets are much larger than wasps or bees and they look more menacing and during flight they emit an ominous loud bass buzzing. But contrary to appearances, they are not more dangerous. Their sting, however, is more painful because the hornet's sting itself is much thicker and longer and more of the toxin gets applied deeper. For most hornet species, there aren't enough insects in the whole nest to deliver a dose lethal to a human. However, as for Asian giant hornets, it would only take a few. A single sting of any species of hornets can be life-threatening to people who are allergic to the venom or when the sting takes place in the area of mouth and throat. Then, the swelling can make it difficult to breathe. Now let's move on to the biology and behavior of hornets. The life of these insects is based on cooperation. Hornets form a swarm and act almost as one organism. In this video, we see how someone wants to remove, with the help of a drone, a hornet's nest located high in a tree near an office building. The drone is not attacked at first. It hits the socket and then falls to the ground. On the next attempt, the hornet's behavior is completely different. Insects immediately attack the drone even before it gets close to the nest. They die en masse, cut by the propellers, but their attack continues. We see a similar situation here. This time the drone struck its propellers into the nest and nearly cut it in half. According to the author's description under the video, the hornets repaired the damage to the nest in just 24 hours. These two recordings illustrate the essence of hornet behavior. Hornets are social insects. In their nest, there is a queen, eggs and larvae. The hornets that die defending the nest are workers. 
They are the ones who gather food, rebuild the nest, and repel the attacks of aggressors. Workers do not reproduce themselves, and what is strangest, they give their lives without hesitation in the name of a higher goal, which is the good of the nest and the queen. How is this possible? Where is the logic and biological sense in all this? Such extreme altruism always sparks interest of biologists, because it seems to contradict the evolutionary struggle for survival of oneself and one's own genes. In short, hornets give up their own reproduction in favor of the queen, who is their mother. At the end of summer, the queen will give birth to new, fertile queens. Only they will be able to survive the winter and continue to reproduce, and all the rest of the nest will die. The new queens that leave the nest in the fall will have mostly the same genes as the workers. Thus, workers give up their own offspring in favor of their siblings, who after all carry the same genes. This peculiar strategy thus ensures the survival of one's own genes in a similar way to producing one's own offspring. The only goal of the worker is to ensure the survival of their siblings and the queen. And the individual lives of workers do not matter much here, and that is why they do not hesitate to sacrifice them. They live like a kind of kamikaze drone, ready for a suicidal mission at any time. This is what social insects like hornets are famous for, but so are wasps, bees, ants and termites. How effective this peculiar strategy is, is shown by the fact that the weight of all termites in the world, even though they are such miniature insects, is 50% bigger than the weight of all people in the world combined. Hornets are the rarest of social insects and weigh just below 2% of the weight of all people. These insects, despite the destruction of their nests by humans, are still doing well and are even expanding their distribution range. In this video, we see the liquidation of the nest of Asian hornets, whose subspecies is the already mentioned Japanese hornet, the largest in the world. Asian hornets are extremely dangerous not only to humans but also to bees. These hornets have a habit of raiding hives and killing the bees living in them, then devouring the larvae in the hive. Therefore, every time a nest of Asian hornets is noticed in the US, it gets immediately destroyed. A single queen can start an invasion just by catching a ride on a shipment from China. The method used here is to suck the hornets directly from the nest using a vacuum cleaner. This method is also sometimes used by nest removal companies. Burning the nest is out of the question when we are dealing with a nest somewhere in a dense forest, in an attic or on a wall of a building. However, the most common method is simply removing the nest with a person wearing special coverall and gloves and sealing it in a plastic bag. Sometimes special chemicals are used to calm or kill the insects. In such situations, it's better not to be a bystander. A hornet's nest can be imperceptibly created wherever we live, especially outside the city, because everything starts with just a single insect. A queen who managed to overwinter somewhere under the bark of a tree or in some crevice will look for a place to set up her own nest in the spring. Initially, it will be a very small nest. The queen will build it from cellulose extracted from wood, lay a few eggs and then feed the hatched larvae herself. Hornets feed on insects, fruit and the sap of some trees. When the larvae pupate into adult hornets, they will take over the tasks from the queen and she will only sit in the nest and lay eggs. The swarm will grow exponentially. Finally, it's worth answering one more question. Why exactly are hornets equipped with such an aggressive nest defense system? In the case of bees, it is understandable. They store honey in their hives, which is high in calories and therefore very valuable. Many animals, like us, would love to eat it. But hornets do not have honey in their nest. So what are they afraid of? In nature, everything exists for a reason. Well, hornets as well as bees store in their nest a significant number of large, fat larvae which are an excellent source of fats and proteins. A honey buzzard is a specialist in robbing and destroying hornets' nests as well as those of wasps and bees. A unique bird of prey found across the old world which, thanks to its specific and dense coat of stiff feathers, is largely resistant to stings. 
Sometimes it happens that it even snatches the whole nest, then tears it apart and feeds on the fatty larvae. However, many animals would gladly eat them. Here you can see a couple of animals eagerly devouring hornet larvae left over from destroyed nests. This excellent food is defended only by a very thin and delicate paper casing, which is easy to tear. Therefore, there is a secondary nest protection system virtually insurmountable for most animals. It is an army of enraged, stinging, and restless beasts. That's all for today. See you next time. Oh, <laughs> my